Hello, Maurice. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. You're fine? What about your day? Yeah. How was it? How was your day, Maurice? Uh, work, work, work. Work, 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 work. Okay, so it was really busy. Ocupado. Busy. busy. Very busy. Very busy. Very busy. Okay. Well, that's something good, right? Because at least you have a job. Okay, por lo menos hay yeah. trabajo. Uh -huh. Okay, that is something good. Okay, it's Vladimir, correct. that is correct. Vladimir, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How do you feel today? Uh, I... Tiring? Tired? Ti tiring? Yes. So yeah. your day was really tiring. I think that your uh -huh. day was really tiring. It was really busy. Right? Okay. All right. So I can see that we also have Norma. We have Mariam. We have a uh, Marina. Okay. Okay, so good evening, um, Marina, Marian, and Norma. I hope you actually are great. Okay, so we are going to start with today's class, guys. And today we have different things that we are going to cover. So today's agenda, we are going to talk about, uh, well, first of all, we are going to have the warm up. Then we are going to move to grammar. So today we are going to complete unit four. And we are going to actually um, work on future will review. Okay, it's a review about unit four. And we are going to also focus on a stress vocabulary, okay? So we are going to be talking about a stress. We also have a speaking time. We have grammar quiz, we have listening quiz. So let's start. And the first thing we're going to start with is with a speaking. Okay, so guys, it says your friend, okay, so your friend has just moved to a new city and is nervous about making new friends, yeah? What advice would you give your friend? Okay, so what advice would you give to your friend, guys? Mm -hmm. What advice? Think about it. Right? Think about it. What advice would you give your friend? So he has just moved to a new city and is nervous about making new friends. What can you advise? ¿Qué puede usted aconsejarle a su amigo? Hmm? What can you advise? He fears. Uh... <laughs> Maris, creo que eh, no, no le escuchamos por el micrófono. Uh, eh, the first, introduce yourself okay. to a new neighbor. Excellent. Okay. Introduce yourself to new neighbors. Perfect. That is a good advice. Yes. Very good. What else? ¿Qué más le puede recomendar? What else? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What else can you recommend your friend? Let's say that you are in another country for the first time and you feel nervous about making new friends. Okay. So, what advice would you give yourself? ¿Qué se aconsejaría usted mismo? Yeah. Yes. What advice? I would tell my friend probably to go to um where? Where can he go? Para hacer nuevos amigos? Well, I, I would recommend my friend 
to study something new. To study something new and he can meet new people in the course. Yes. That's what I would recommend, my friend. Okay. Mm, yes, that's it. And uh, maybe as, as Maury said, right? Introduce himself to the neighbors. Presentarse con todos los vecinos, right? Very good. What about number two? Okay. And listen to this. It says, some people want to change their appearance even through surgery. Do you agree or disagree? Do you agree or disagree, guys? If you had, okay, if you had the opportunity to change your appearance through surgery, would you do it? Lo haría. Uh -huh. Through surgery, ok. Cirugía, a través de la cirugía lo haría. Si se pudiese cambiar la apariencia. Yes or no. Or why. Vladimir, in your case. Yes, teacher, yes. Yes, probably. you would do it, probably. Ok. And you, Morris? Uh, for me, uh, for me, it doesn't matter. It doesn't if matter. I agree, if I agree or not, okay. that depends on the person who okay. will have the surgery, surgery, surgery or surgery. Oh, the surgery. And, uh, is they have economic possibility. Possibility. That is correct. Well, okay. And you, Emerson, um, would you change your appearance through surgery if you had the opportunity? No, really. Mm -hmm. I enjoy uh, how I the way that you are. Okay. Yes. Okay, perfect. And what about you, Pablo? Would you change your appearance? Uh, you mean, um, I disagree. Uh, so you because, won. Uh, because I should be happy with the appearance. Okay. Yes, right? Yes. And you, Nelly, what about you? If you had the opportunity, Nelly, to change your appearance through surgery, would you do it? Um, I don't know. I I don't. I feel okay <laughs> with myself. Um. Uh, no, I I I don't. I, I don't need a surgery. Perfect. But I agree with uh the people that um they have to do a surgery. Okay. Because mm -hmm. if they have an opportunity and money, and if if they um, if they if, want, if if they didn't feel well with them, mm -hmm. it's okay for me. Okay, all right. Okay, yes, I think that it, it it's okay, right? As long as you feel good with yourself, right? And if you want to actually uh, make a surgery. I think that it's, it's okay, right? All right, so now, let me ask you about this, okay? The university decides to remodel the dormitory and add a new space to it. Which space do you recommend adding in your dormitory? A cafe, a study room, or a game room? Which space do you recommend adding and why? Okay. You are in that dormitory. Yes. Is your dormitory. 
Mm -hmm. I would like uh, to have a study room. I study to be room. able to study study room. Okay. To be able to study my class. Okay, a study room. Perfect. That would be a great uh, choice, I think, right? Because you are going to have your own space, beautiful space, where you are going to feel really comfortable, probably. Okay. And in your case, George, what would you decide? A cafe, a study room, or a game room? For me, a game room. <laughs> okay, George. <laughs> Why a game yes. room? Because I like the 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 video games okay and george for how long have you been playing video games um i really i don't remember but um for example when i uh when i have more or less um, see seven seven or eight years old okay i i play for hours when <laughs> for example uh, when i was in the vacation mm -hmm. i remember uh, one uh one time i played for six or seven hours in yes, a day I, yes mm -hmm. i i i remember i had in this moment, um, uh, uh, I I I don't know what what I say, or what do you mean, uh, Atari? Atari. What is that? Yes, it is a uh, una um a consola. A console. Okay. Uh, yeah, and and my favorite game. In in this moment it was uh Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Yes, oh, and Pac I played um I don't remember exactly, but seven, sixteen or sixteen fives level. Oh my and god, George. Yes, this day. Okay, so that means that you really like video yeah. games. Yeah, okay. and right now, um, I like, I like the many games. Which ones do you play the most? Um, right now, uh, in my cell phone, for example, I have a uh, a game. Uh, its name is Coin Master. Coin Master. Okay. Yeah. All right. Very good. And play every day for one hour, more or less. Okay. Well, less than before, but you still do it, right? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. And in your case, Nelly, which one would you choose? A cafe, a study room, or a game room? Um. I think that a story room is the most um, recommended, but I choose a game room too. A game room too. Okay. Yeah. Why a game room? Because uh, it's, a, it's a space uh, to relax. Okay. Um, and um, I play every day too. And really? Yes, I play a little bit, but uh, maybe 20 minutes or 30 minutes. Okay. Uh, but um, I did when I, I do every day when when I want to relax my mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. All right, perfect. Yes. I think that video games are uh, really good for you to distract your mind right and also to sometimes learn because through video games you learn you learn a lot english as well okay now okay let's talk about the main um topic which is for vocabulary okay so let me ask you guys and think about this what is the first 
thing that pops in your head when you hear the word stress? What is stress? What do you think stress is? Hmm. What is stress for you? In my case, the traffic in the morning. Traffic in the morning, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm -hmm. A stress in your life? Okay, the traffic in the morning is one. What else? Probably waking up early. Going to bed late. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe having a lot of tasks, pending tasks, right? Maybe meetings with your teammates, right, at work. Maybe not having money. Yeah. Maybe a situation that happens, like... All of the sudden, right? Many things can be stressful, right? So now, let's see, okay? So the stress time bomb, okay? In this case, guys, we are going to read a couple of situations, okay, that can cause you a stress, okay? Yeah? So in this case, law, staff, moral. Okay, law, staff, moral. So that means, guys, the attitude. The attitude uh, on people, right? The attitude. The values, right? The moral, yeah? Could be a stressful sometimes, yeah? Whenever you have probably this type of uh, co-workers who are really probably direct or rude, etc. Coast couldn't. Coast couldn't. That means sometimes whenever you actually handle or you manage a budget in your company, right? And there is a cost couldn't that could be a stressful because sometimes maybe you are in charge of different things and you cannot achieve things because there is a cost couldn't, right? Employee absence. Yeah, employee absence. This is in the case if you work, uh, maybe if you're a supervisor, right? Or if, if you work in the human resources department. So this is a stressful sometimes, employee absence. Why? Because sometimes, mm, I mean, if you don't go to work, it's because of something, right? Maybe because you are sick or probably because you don't want to go anymore, right? Et cetera. Yeah, a heavy workload. Okay, so a heavy workload. Workload, guys, es como una sobrecarga de trabajo. Esa es la palabra, okay, que es como un montón de actividades. Un workload es estar sobrecargado de trabajo. Okay, so a heavy workload could be a stressful. Most of the time, that is a stressful. Dissatisfied customers, if you are the type of uh, person that deals with customers, dissatisfied customers because they are always complaining about your service, about your product. Dissatisfied customers can be stressful. Lower profits, yes. Son como las entradas que están reducidas, que no hay ganancias. Lower profits. If you have your own business, sometimes lower profits can be stressful. Or even if you don't have your own business, but you work in the sales department, right? Si usted no vende, eso es stressful. Porque usted tiene una meta, you have a goal. Yeah? So, poor performances. Okay? Poor performances. If you're a supervisor, el desempeño de sus empleados, que de las personas que tiene a cargo, puede ser stressful sometimes. Poor performance. Yes. Bullying at work. Bullying at work. That could be stressful as well. 
And the economy, right? The economy uh, in general. That could be stressful. Okay, so now, then let me ask you, okay? In this case, it says that we all talk about stress. Yeah, we all talk about stress, but what is it? How would you define it? ¿Qué es en realidad el estrés? Um, George, help us reading the paragraph. We all talk about the stress, but what is it? How will you define it? The stress comes from both the good and the bad things that happen to us. And it is a normal reaction to the demands in our lives. When our brains perceive a situation to the retreat, okay. our bodies release a sudden rush of hormones that send us into our an aromatic, aromatic fight, flight or freeze instinct. This biological event is called the stress response. Okay, thank you. First of all, let's focus on pronunciation. This one is going to be threatening. 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 Yeah. What Threat. is Stress. Yes, in this case, is amenazante. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hormones. All right. Hormones. Hormones. Uh, biological. Biological. Event is cold. 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 It is cold. Yeah. So, guys, stress comes from both. And listen to this. Okay. So. A stress comes from both the good and the bad things, yeah, that happen to us. So, and it is a normal reaction to the demands in our lives. That is common. A stress is common, okay? When our brains perceive a situation to be threatening, our bodies release a sudden rush of hormones that send us into an automatic fight, flight, or freeze instinct. That is automatic, yeah? So this biological event is called the stress response. So a stress is that, okay? So now, as it says, guys, a stress is actually for the good and bad things but which are the effects of a stress. So there are four different areas that is stress affects uh, you or affect us, right? So in this case, we typically experience changes in four different areas. Look at this. The first area is your feelings your feelings, right? Sometimes probably you feel sad, you feel angry, you feel disappointed, you feel frustrated, right? Hmm. So a stress affects your feelings. Then a stress affects your thoughts. Thoughts, yeah? Your yeah. thoughts the way that you think, because you start thinking just bad things, or it could be the opposite, good things, yeah? And then it also affects your body. A stress affects your body. Sometimes you cannot sleep because of a stress. Probably you cannot eat something because you are going to feel bad when you eat that because you are stressful, because you have a stress in your life. Yeah, so your body is affected by stress. Then in the last area that stress affects is your behavior. Yeah, why? Because when you are stressful, so you feel angry, right? You feel angry and you are sometimes rude or impolite 
with people, right? Or it could be the opposite, yeah? But those four areas are affected by stress. Feelings, thoughts, body, and behavior. Those four things. Now, it's really important to mention that we also have positive stress. Not just bad stress, okay? We have bad stress, the one that is kind of common, but we also have positive stress. And how do we call positive stress? We call it you stress, you stress. That is the name for positive stress. So it says, Emerson, can you please help us reading you stress? Users of positive stress is a kind of stress that helps motivate, motivate us to work hard to accomplish tasks. Must make us feel excited and feels good about the life. It's a, a, a stress. Mm -hmm. It's all about this sufficiently shameling, shameling ourselves without expending or our resources. Thank you, all right? So now uh, let's explain this information and let's work also on pronunciation, okay? So what is you stress? You, you stress. So you stress or positive stress is the kind of stress that helps, yeah? Motivate us, nos motiva. Okay, motivate us to work hard, okay? To work hard, to work hard to accomplish, to accomplish tasks. It makes us feel excited, emocionados, and feels good about life. So you stress, you can find you stress whenever you um, get a promotion at work. Ok, cuando usted es ascendido en su trabajo, lo que usted siente, porque en ocasiones usted siente como uh, emocionado, una nueva oportunidad, a new position, right? Empieza con uh, los pensamientos de qué voy a hacer en esa posición, voy a poder alcanzar la meta, etc. Right? So, that is you stress. Ok, and you stress is all about sufficiently challenging ourselves without expending all our resources, okay? Your stress nos ayuda a crecer. So this one is called positive stress, positive, yeah? This one is the one that we should um, have. I mean, we should be able to probably switch the bad stress, the negative one into positive stress. If something bad happens to you, if you had a problem at work, you shouldn't see that as stress. You should see that as you stress. It's an opportunity for you to probably come up with some resolutions for you to grow as a person, right? Now, there are many um, I would say uh, techniques, all right? There are techniques that we can use to cope with this stress. Que nos ayudan a manejar el estrés negativo, yeah? And which are those techniques? Which are those techniques? Okay, so let me see. Emerson, help us reading focus time, Nelly, play time, Maurice, connecting time, um, George, physical time. I don't know if Claudia is here, but if Claudia is here, alone time, okay? Now, downtime, uh, please Bernardo, and sleep time, Emerson again, okay? So let's read one by one. Vamos uno por uno, focus time. Focus time. Closely focus on tasks in a goal-oriented way. Taking a challenge, that make deep connection the brain. For example, learn how, 
how the dad take photos or repair a bicycle. Excellent, thank you. Playing time, allow yourself to be spontaneous, creative, and playful. Mm -hmm. Enjoying this experience helps make a new connection in the brain. Okay. Not to mention it's fun. Mm -hmm. You could organize a, snow, a snowball fight, try your hand and painting, or sing your heart out, out to your favorite artist. Mm -hmm. Connecting time. So we, when we connect with other people, or take a time to connect with nature, mm -hmm. we richly act, act, activate the brain, relational circuitry. Yes. You could, you could call your mom or ask a friend to chat over lunch. It's incredible, incredible. Yes. What authentic connection can do for us. Yes. Uh, physical time. Uh, uh, physical time. Yes, okay. Physical Go, time. Physical. Okay, George. Thank you, Maurice. Okay, physical time. Healthy body. Healthy mind, moving our bodies and reach our brains in many ways. This doesn't mean you must spend hours at a gym, take on a new sport, take your job for wrong, or go for a hike. Not only is it healthy, it can also be a great way to have some fun. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. A long uh, time. A long time. Sometimes it's healthy to just be alone when we quietly reflect internally, Focus, focusing on sensations, images, feelings, and thoughts. It helps to better integrate the brain. Excellent. Downtime. Downtime. When we don't focus on anything and let our mind wander or simply relax, it helps our brain recharge. Mm -hmm. This could mean going on a walk or laying on the couch and just being. Exactly, thank you. Emerson, the last one. Sleep time. Good sleep is a key of our mental wellness. When we have the brain to rest in the needs, it yeah. can consolidate the learning and recover from the experience of the day. Okay, give me one second, guys. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, so thank you very much. First of all, we are going to focus on pronunciation, okay? And probably some new words that you haven't seen before. So this one is going to be creative. This one, creative, creative, okay? Yes, pronunciation, creative. Then we also have incredible, okay? We also have enriches, enriches, yeah? Enriquecer. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it says, guys, in, listen to this, okay? Because this is very important. Whenever you feel stress, okay? Whenever you are stressed out, when you are really stressful, you can um, use those techniques, yeah? The first one is that you need to focus your time. But on what? Not on thinking about the problem, okay? No, you need to focus your time where in taking on challenges that make deep connections in the brain. So for example, you need to learn how to take photos or repair a bicycle or probably you can read an article about something that you would like to learn, 
etc. Right? So play time. Allow yourself to be spontaneous, right? I'm pretty sure that sometimes you really love to have everything planned because you are really organized, but sometimes it's good to be spontaneous, all right? So be spontaneous, creative, and playful, okay? So you need to enjoy these experiences. Why? Because they help us to make new connections in the brain, okay? Connecting time. Yes, it says that we can connect with other people or take time to connect with nature. Nature, we richly activate the brain's rela relational circuitry. And that is correct, okay? Whenever you actually go on a walk or you go with your family, right? Or whenever you go out with a friend, okay? You create good connections and you feel good. Okay, so then physical time. Maybe you don't like to go to the gym or probably yes. Okay, but if you don't like to go to the gym, whenever you feel really stressed, right? So you can go ahead and go out, right? Go for a walk. Yes, go for a walk. Then alone time. This one is very important, okay? Because sometimes it's really healthy to just be alone. Sometimes, okay, when you need to probably think about something really important, it's better to be alone, but not for uh, a long period, period of time, right? No. Then downtime, it says when we don't focus on anything, when you, when you do anything, it's okay as well, right? As long as you feel good, it's okay. And the last one and the most important, the most important one is the sleep time. You need to sleep good. Why? Because good sleep is the key in our mental wellness. Because if you sleep good, you won't be stressed, right? If you sleep good, you are not going to have to do all of those things because you are going to feel good. Uh -huh. That is very important, okay? So now what we're going to do is that we are going to practice, okay? And you are going to talk to your partners about the following questions related to the topic stress, all right? So do you think stress is ever good, useful, or necessary? Yes or no, okay? Does stress come when you worry about, about your life? Do you feel stressful when you worry about your life? And why, okay? How do you relieve stress, okay? ¿Cómo usted eh, se desestresa? How, okay? And how can you live a stress-free life. Can we live a stress-free life? Yes, teacher, podemos vivirla, okay? Just, we don't care about anything, that's it. No, okay, because that is not good. Uh -huh. So how can you live a stress-free life? How? Give me a tips, right? Okay, so we're going to practice with those four questions and then we are going to come back to the main room, okay? So let me create the rooms and here we go.
Hello, Wendy. Oh, you are on mute. No le escucho. Sorry. Okay. So, yes, now yes. How are you? Um, bien. In English, Wendy. Sorry. Uh -huh. How are you? Good? Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Wendy, we are going to practice, okay? Vamos a practicar. Okay. Eh, Wendy, do you think a stress is ever good, useful, or necessary? Oh, good use of necessary. Necessary? Sí. Yes. Yes. Okay. Why? Por qué? Mm. Ayuda. Mm -hmm. Because? Because it helps. It helps. Um, it helps. Very good. Mm, because it help us. Porque nos ayuda. Because it help us. Uh, a qué nos ayuda? A, a relajarse. Okay. Uh -huh. El estrés nos ayuda a relajarnos. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So. Uh, Wendy, does stress come when you worry about your life? ¿Se estresa cuando usted piensa en, en todo lo que tiene en su vida? Yes, teacher. <laughs> Why, Wendy? Why, teacher? <laughs> Why? Mm. ¿Por qué? Um, I work. For work. For in, work. For work in this day. To, okay. Uh, uh -huh. For okay, so for work is day. Okay, you you worry about your job each day. Yes. Todos los días se preocupa por el trabajo. Ay, sí. Yes, oh chef. My. Oh my um, god. Como se dice, eh, me toca madrugar todos los días. I need to wake up early. Hey, I need to wake up early. Early every day. Every day. Me levanto mm -hmm. uh, for for I am. For I am? Yes. Okay. The in the world um eh, bueno, me toca entrar a las seis de la mañana todos los días de trabajo. Okay, and where do you work? I mean, está super retirado de su lugar de residencia. Yes, teacher. La Santa Elena. Okay. Yo vivo aquí en San Jacinto. Y es en Santa Elena, sí, está retirado. Eh, como viajo todos los días. Y cuando viene también. Igual. Y sale a las cinco. Salgo a las cinco. ¿Y llega a su casa, Wendy? Al ras, honestamente, dicho, al ras de la clase. Cinco a las ocho. Cinco, seis, siete. Cinco, seis, seis, siete, siete, ocho. Casi tres horas. Sí. Por el tráfico. Terrible. Ajá. Uh -huh. Por el tráfico. Como trabajo en... en... I work in the supermarket. Okay. Uh -huh. in, uh, I work in... ¿Cómo se dice mayores? Bulk. I'm selling bulk. Uh -huh. um, uh, I work on, on bulk sales. Yes. Bulk sales. Okay. Sí, Wendy. It is really heavy. Okay. Le toca súper pesado, entonces. Yes, teacher. Um, en mi trabajo, 
eh, como trabajo en McCormick, Ok. Con las mayonesa, las especias, la spice, eh, mayonesa, uh -huh. sí. Sí. Eso es lo que fabrica la empresa. Eh, uh -huh. Pues salimos todos los días a diferentes lugares de San Salvador. Ah, ok. Y, ah, okay. Usted tiene que andar uh, moviéndose. Yes. Ok. Y yes, soy bueno. promotora. Ok, sí, entonces le toca como moviéndose. Ok, sí, es un poco pesado. Ok. Es pesado. Uh -huh. Ok, so how do you relieve stress? Entonces, ¿cómo usted se desestresa? ¿Qué hace? ¿Qué hago, Ticho? Nada. And you, uh, listen music. Listen to music. Listen to music. Uh -huh. I, I were a student in English. I study English, okay. Cuando, uh -huh, uh -huh. O cuando estoy en el supermercado, veo sus clases. Oh, really? Para mí de relajar. Aprender, okay. Uh -huh. O sea, me meto, me meto, me meto un ratito, ¿verdad? Donde, donde están las clases y ahí estoy repasando un ratito porque solo me, solamente me dan una hora. Ok. Ajá, entonces, de todas las maneras, no completamente relajarme, dicho. pero uh -huh. sí, o sea, como para estar un poquito más tranquila, porque el estrés es horrible. Dicho. Sí, eso estoy viendo, que le toca súper pesado. Wendy. Sí. Ok, Wendy. Tiene que tener alguna actividad que tiene que hacer para que se desestrese. Fíjese, teacher, que a veces salgo a caminar. Uh -huh. no todo el tiempo porque a la hora que vengo no me queda tiempo pero más que todo cuando vengo aquí a mi casa ¿Sí? me conecto a la clase pero que 10 minutos antes veo a mis hijas porque casi no las veo uh -huh. eh, con la chiquitina que tengo aquí siento que me relajo cuando okay. la veo su sonrisa cuando veo que me recibe con alegría ya eso como que me baja todo lo que traigo se me pasa. Ok, muy bien, ok. Y cuando, ajá, y cuando ya veo que ves la clase, pues ya me siento tranquila y digo, yo ya es la clase, ¿verdad? Que me está costando, teacher, soy bien sincera, me está costando, a veces me entiendo las clases, pero trato la manera de, de, de poner atención, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Bueno, lo importante es que uh, avance, ¿ok? O sea, no es que va a aprender todo ya, pero sí, lo importante es que avance, porque ese es el objetivo, Wendy, que usted avance. Sí, sí, sí. ¿Okay? Very good. Sí. Ahora, la última pregunta, how can you live a stress-free life? ¿Cómo podríamos vivir una vida sin estrés? ¿Es posible o no es posible? Yes, teacher. ¿Cómo? How? Uh, uh, how can you live very happy uh -huh. um, in family? Okay. Uh -huh. With your family, okay. Yeah. Um, compartir, no sé cómo se dice. Share. Compartir, Share. compartir con... Share. Con una, o compartir con la familia. Share uh, with your family. Share with your family. O tener una conversación con un amigo. Or talk with friends. Uh, yes. Yes, that is true. I think that that is, that is um, those are techniques. I think that uh, sharing with our family, uh, spending time with our family, I think that that is a really, uh, compartir con la familia es, bien esencial también con los amigos con las amistades ok ok mm -hmm. muy bien vale. ok excelente la voy a mandar a un salón para ver los demás cómo practican ok yes, gracias ok en esta situación I de bread Thank to Emerson. Uh, Jose Bernardo. Mm -hmm. 
I really be stressed doing things. For example, when I feel very stressful, I do exercise, ride my bike, uh, draw. Sometimes I draw, uh, listen to music, play video games, watch TV, watch a series, or watch videos on YouTube. That's how I relieve stress. Who mm -hmm. can you live a stress free life? I think that uh, we can't live without a stress, but uh, we can manage manage the stress and um we can uh have an have a, a a more light stress light no se ligero light stress and uh, I just it's a it's a question interesting because live with, with the stress free the stress it's difficult when yeah. when we when we have a for example, in our companies, always when we have a situation, it's come, come difficult. Take a, a free, free stress because affecting the so uh, our our thoughts. And uh, mm -hmm. it's difficult living free, but you can't uh, lightly distress doing the take, a, for example, doing the uh, exercise, read the books, listen to music, and you have time. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so Vladimir, are you there? Yes, teacher, okay. I'm here. Yes, okay, but Vladimir. I am driving. You're driving? Yes. Okay, got Sorry. it. Don't worry. Juan Jose, are you here or are you driving or doing something? Yes, I'm here. You're here. Okay, so how do you relieve stress? How I relieve stress. Yes. Okay, I relieve the stress when I go out and stay alone, some coffee, drink coffee and reading and other activity is when I practice my guitar mm -hmm. and walk around. Perfect. Thank you. Maurice, how do you relieve stress? Uh, what what how do you live relieve as well mm -hmm. for me uh, uh, for me i make uh, exercise do uh, exercise i do, do exercise and uh, 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 play the guitar and uh, uh, the other uh, activity. Okay, Import right. important. Okay, 
Perfect. Thank you, Maurice. George, what about you? What do you do to relieve stress? I try to make the, the many activities. Um, for example, uh, I like to watch the TV. Um, I in YouTube, for example, I I like to listen to music. Mm -hmm. Um, I uh, on weekend, um, I I talk my my partners okay. my uh, the, for example the last the last weekend um i i wake up at five in the morning on saturday and run for a many kilometers and oh. then i go swimming uh, okay. a little time for uh 30 minutes but but i think the, um, this helped me for that relieve the stress okay perfect Okay, excellent. And you, Wendy, how do you relieve stress? Creo que está en mute. So, eh, relax for I wait for family. Okay, you relax, you relax with your family, okay. Or my friends or listen to music. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good guys. And Nelly, how can you live a stress-free life? I think that uh, we can live without stress, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, maybe we can um, do the stress more easily to handle more handle mm -hmm. um to to take and um uh we can change uh the the way that we think or our mind okay and mm -hmm. in my case i try to um think positive and okay. um, I think that everything happened um, for a reason. Okay. And yes. Okay. Perfect. So, yes. Okay. Um, and the last one. Okay. Let me see. Um, Jose. So, how can we live a stress free life? Can we do it or no? Um, no, teacher. I think we can't do. It. We can't do it, but we can reduce the stress in our life by doing, uh, practicing sports, mm -hmm. uh, playing some instrument, mm -hmm. um, going out with friends, with family. Uh, also, we can do things for or ourselves um i don't know go to eat somewhere walking mm -hmm. and running listening to music some some things or other thing or other thing that we can do to try to don't have so much stress is mm -hmm. making a, a schedule for some things that could help yes Absolutely. Okay, thank you. I agree. Okay, I agree, guys. So basically, no, we can't, right? We can handle the stress or we can reduce it, but we cannot eliminate stress from our lives, right? That is impossible, okay? Because at some point you're going to have a stress, but you need to learn how to handle it. Okay, perfect. All right, so I'm going to take the attendance. Please say present. Okay, once you hear your name, give me one second. Okay, so um, here we go. Carlos Alberto Castro Santana. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Claudia Maria Guerrero. 
Yes. Daisy Elizabeth Present. Restinos. Thank you, Claudia. Present. Daisy. Present. Okay. Present. Wait, Present. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Eduardo. Emerson Ulises. Present, Miss. Yes, thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera. Present, teacher. Yes, thank you. Karen Janet. Karen. Carla Sofía Argueta. Kenya Elizabeth Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Marian Scarlett Rodríguez. Marina Jensi Sandoval. Mauricio Antonio. Yes. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade. Present. Yes, thank you. Norma Patricia. Yes, thank you. Pablo Adalberto Abrego. Present. Thank you. Tatiana Ivonne Torres. Present. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. And Jonathan Roberto Garcia. Jonathan? No. Okay. Bye, guys. Uh, thank you, Norma. Okay. Let's continue, guys. And now let's move to the book. All right. So, uh, George, you are Diego. And Wendy, you are Stacy. Okay. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. In the major text of position, I see we are in charge of how to put correct, correct, correctly a right. processing payment correctly. Mm -hmm. Don't forget servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that roaming and personal appearance they look a bit messy Mess. uh -huh. okay let's have a short training next saturday in the morning i will organize everything i understand then email to let them know to let them know to, to let them know Excellent. Okay, yes. so guys, eh, what is the meaning of grooming? What is grooming? Grooming is cuidado personal. Okay, el aseo personal. Grooming. Yes. So uh, basically, this conversation is for us to um, emphasize, guys, different type of training. Okay, different type of training because unit four is re related to training, okay? What is chart? Chart is un cuadro, okay? Es un cuadro, una gráfica, yes? So we will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers, okay? Uh, let me see, what else? I think that basically about probably pronunciation or vocabulary, grooming is probably a new word, right? Grooming, cuidado personal, o aseo personal, okay? Now, um, Nelly, help us reading all of this information, please. How to use will. Okay, how to use will. Look at examples in the box, then complete the exercise below. Use will to make predictions, to say what you believe will happen in the future. I think a famous chef will come to the event. The manager will prepare a new training for us. Use will for decision that you make spontaneously at the time when you're speaking. Mm -hmm. Consumers are complaining about a slow service. I will talk, I will talk to the staff that server just is pilot the soap the soup on the customer. Mm -hmm. I will call the manager. Use will to make a promise or to offer help to somebody. I will be there at 9 a.m. 
I will help you prepare the documents for the training. Yes, okay. So in this case, this one is spilled. Okay, build. Very good. All right. So, guys, as you remember, we covered will last week. Okay, so we use will to make predictions. Okay. And we also use will for decisions that you make spontaneously. Okay. So, for predictions and for decisions that we make spontaneously. Yeah. So, for predictions, we have example. I think a famous chef will come to the event prediction i think i'm not sure if that is true decisions that we make spontaneously consumers are complaining about a slow service i will talk to the staff things decided at the moment of speaking yeah now let's complete the sentences using will and the verb in parentheses number one don't worry, I will show you how to process a credit card payment. Number two, I'm sure you will have a good time at the train. Number three, the training needs analysis will be a success. Number four, I promise, what is success, guys? Logros. Éxito. Éxito. Éxito, ok. Success, éxito. Ok. Logros could be achievements. Yeah. Accomplishments. Yeah. So, number four. I promise I will do my best to get a good score in the evaluation. Yeah. Evaluation. And number five. She. Negative. She won't, won't be. be late for the meeting or to the meeting, okay? Very good, won't or will not, okay? And the last one, the manager will work hard to help us improve, yeah? To help us improve, yeah? Will, predictions and spontaneously uh, spontaneous decisions, okay? Types of arrangements, vocabulary for you guys, vocabulary, okay? So let's see. What we need to do is that we need to match the definition with the word. What is an appointment? What is an appointment? We need to read A, B, C, D, E, F. From A to F, what is an appointment? Now, let's move number, to the Yes? Um, number, uh, letter A. Okay. A formal arrangement to meet or visit someone at a fixed time and place. An appointment. Okay. What about a date? F. F. Romantic meeting between two people. Okay. Very good. A planned romantic meeting between two people. What is a get together? A get together? Letter D. An arrangement to meet somebody for an evening meal, very formal. A get together? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, let us see. Yes. <clears throat> A meeting in which someone asks you questions to see if you are suitable for a job. Oh, or sorry. Uh, an informal <laughs> meeting or social gathering. <laughs> okay, perfect. Letter E. Okay, so an informal meeting or social gathering. A get together is como una reunión, como, una, um, como un encuentro entre amigos, okay? Let's have a get together. Tengamos una, una reunión, okay? Um, como una reunión, pero es, es con sus amigos. Un encuentro con sus amigos, okay? So, a dinner engagement. 
Letter D. Letter D. And what is letter D? Can you please read? An arrangement to meet somebody for an evening meal. Every, uh, very formal. Very formal. Okay. A dinner engagement. What is a checkup? Letter B. Letter B. A and medical, what is a medical examination to test the general state of your health? Excellent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you guys something. Okay. How often, how often do you have a checkup? Never, teacher. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Okay. I rather have it. Okay, so rarely, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That should be at least twice a year. At least. Mm -hmm. Okay. So an interview, okay, an interview. It is a meeting in which someone asks you questions to see if you are suitable for a job or a course. That is correct. Okay, so now guys, um, okay, let's see. Let's complete um, the space in blank, okay? We are having a, from one to six, okay? From one to six, we are having a, A space tomorrow afternoon. Why don't you join us? A get together. Yes, so that is number three, right? A get together. Uh -huh. I have an check up. A check up to see Mr. Carlson. Carlson. Yeah. Okay. All right. An interview? It could be an appointment. An appointment, okay. Tiene una cita, pero esa cita es una cita eh, formal, okay. Una, una, una cita para visitar a alguien en un momento determinado, mire. O sea, en un, en un horario ya establecido. Fixed time, horario establecido. So, how was your space with Emily? Do you like her? Date. Date. Okay. How was your date with Emily? Do you like her? Number four. I'm going to the doctor's for a checkup. Checkup. This one, yes. Okay. For a checkup. Excellent. Number five. Professor Jones has a very different space tonight with his university colleagues. Um, dinner, engagement. Engagement. It's engagement. Excellent, like that. And the last one. Good luck with your job a space tomorrow. I'm sure you'll do well. Interview. Excellent, okay, interview. Okay, very good. Vocabulary, okay? Now, let's move. Now, let's talk about phrasal verbs, okay? Phrasal verbs, whenever we have a uh, different type of, um, I would say, situations, okay? Vamos a ver una por una, yes? Um, let me see, Pablo, help us reading Ayúdanos a leer de la 1 a la 5, Pablo. From 1 to 5. And Claudia, from 6 to 8. ¿Ok? Solo la oración. ¿Ok? Toda la oración. I'm afraid I can maybe you something has come up. I'm afraid I'm, I'm, tired, I'm tired all weekend. Let's meet up at the campaign at 4 p.m. Can we move up the meeting to Thursday? Uh, can we we put off the meeting till Friday? 
Friday. Six, seven. I'm and sorry, eight. but I have to call up tomorrow's meeting. Seven. So I will pick you up at 8 p.m. then. Eight. Are we still? Are we still on for tomorrow night? Very good. Okay, guys. So I'm afraid I can't meet you. Something has come up. Me temo que no me puedo reunir contigo. Algo ha surgido. Come up. Verbo frasal. Algo ha surgido. Come up, surgir. Que de pronto sucedió, que algo pasó. Come up. Something has come up. Number two. I'm afraid I'm tied up all weekend. Fíjese bien esto. I'm afraid I'm tied up all weekend. What is the meaning of tied up? Busy. Y usted está demasiado ocupado. Si usted dice, hey, I am tied up. I am, I am tied up. Ok. Es que usted está, pero con tanto trabajo que está demasiado ocupado. No tiene nada de espacio libre. Tied up. Number three. Let's meet up at the fountain at 4 p.m. Let's meet up. Encontrarse. Meet up. Meet up. Reunirse. Encontrarse. Can we move up the meeting to Tuesday? Move up es un verbo frasal que significa mover. ¿Sí? Move up means mover. Cambiar. ¿Ya? Yeah. Put off. Put off means cancelar. Ok. Or would mean posponer. Ok. Postpone or cancel. I'm sorry. I have to call off. Call off definitivamente es cancelar. Cancelar. Ya no se va a volver a dar eso. Ok. Call off. Cancelar. So I'll pick you up at 8 p.m. Pick up. Recoger. Ok. And are we still on for tomorrow night? Cuando usted le pregunta. Todavía vamos a ir, ¿verdad? Mañana. Ok. Estamos todavía para mañana, le dice. Are we still on for tomorrow night? Okay. Now, let's see. Let's uh, match the definition. Okay. Vamos a enlazar la definición de cada verbo frasal. Yeah. So, what is the meaning of come up? Letter F happened right. unexpectedly. Yes, it is happened unexpectedly. unexpectedly. Number two, tied up. Letter A, B, C, F, um, never. Correct. Meet up. Okay, let's move to number four. Move up. Can we move up the meeting to Tuesday? Move up. No. Let us see. Change the late time. A little time. Okay. Can we put off the meeting till Friday? B. Cancel. Cancel? Mm, okay. Let's see. Put off. Postpone. Posponer. Uh -huh. So, change to a later time or day. Usted cambia algo para otro día. Usted lo pospone. You put off. Okay. 
Number six, call off. Cancel. Cancel, correct. Ese sí es cancelar. Call off significa cancelar. Pick up. Meet someone in order to do something together. Okay. Eh, ah, no, 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 no. No. Ah, so, yes. Yes. Yeah. Page. Mm -hmm. Page. Uh, I think letter E, collect. Go and get. Correct. Collect, go and get. Very good. And number eight, are we still on for tomorrow night? G, meeting us planned. Okay, very good. So we are still missing three and four, I think. Meet up. H, meet someone in order to do something together. And move up. Change. To an earlier time or a day. Okay, mover, yes. Very good, okay. All right, guys. Okay, let's continue. And we have one role play. One is going to be Simon and the other person is going to be Alice, okay? So, Maurice, can you please be Simon? And uh, let me see. Mm. Uh, Daisy, are you there? I think that Daisy is not there. Um, okay, so Mark, okay. Simon, yes. and okay. Alice, Nelly. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi, Simon, it's Alice. Hi there. Hi there, Alice. How are things? Not too bad. Listen, there is a new movie out with Ben Affleck. I've um, heard it's really good. We like, would you like to go uh, to the theater to see it? Sure, that sounds great. Shall we say Thursday evening? Mm -hmm. I'm afraid Thursday isn't good for me. I have a dinner with my family. Okay. It, it is my mother, right, Billy. Okay. Can you make it on Friday? Uh, yeah. Friday sounds fine. Great. So what time do you want to meet? Well, they're showing the movie at 8.30. So hold up. Uh -huh. How about the quarter past eight in front of the theater? Fine. See you on Friday. See you on Friday. Okay. Friday. Yes. Eh, guys, cuando usted quiera preguntarle a alguien, puedes el viernes, o puedes el jueves, o puedes el miércoles. Lo puede preguntar, can you make it? Can you make it on Thursday? Can you make it on Monday? Can you make it on Saturday? Can you make it on Sunday? Okay. Cuando usted le quiere preguntar a alguien, puede estar el día. Okay. All right. So now, um, role play two. So we have Simon and Alice again. So, um, okay. Let me see. Um, Jose. Be Simon and Claudia be Alice, please. Okay. Hello. Claudia? My goodness. Hi, Simon. It's Alice. Listen, I'm calling about Friday. I'm afraid I can make it. You see, my cousin is coming to visit me for the weekend and I have to spend some time with her. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a pity. Can we do Sunday instead? Sure, that works for me. Great. Same time, same place? Yes, see you then, bye. Perfect, guys. Okay, so probably vocabulary from this short role play. 
Um, that's a pity. Es una pena. Right? Que lástima. That's a pity. Sí, que lástima. That's a pity. Ok. Eh, si usted quiere preguntarle, ¿podemos ir el, el domingo en lugar o podemos ir el martes? Can we do Sunday? Can we do Tuesday instead? Yes, cuando él tiene otra opción, en lugar de. Instead significa en lugar de. Eh, and this one, same time, same place. Ok, en el mismo lugar a la misma hora. Yes, see you then. Ok. All right, guys. Now, let's take the quiz, okay? The first quiz that we have for today, and that one is going to be the general knowledge quiz, okay? Este es un examen, básicamente, de conocimiento general. Eh, este examen tiene 10 preguntas, okay? Básicamente, de preposiciones, eh, things that you have studied, okay? Las cosas que hemos visto y las cosas que usted ha visto durante... Eh, el curso, no solamente conmigo, sino que en otros, en otras clases, ¿ok? Solo son 10 preguntas. Um, let me get the link, ¿ok? Ya les paso el link. Ok. There you go. And the password is English. ¿Ok? Contraseña es English. Ok, guys. Um, I think that it's it's kind of easy, so I will set the timer, okay? So you can see the time here.
Okay, guys, so we're just waiting some of you. Let me see. Okay, so now let's get ready to take the listening quiz, okay? Let's take the listening. Um, let me send the, the link. There you go. And the passcode is listening, okay? Listen. Okay, guys. I'm going to play this audio three times, okay? Three times. Okay, so here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, let's begin. Hello, everyone. My name's Carl Roberts, and I'll be your teacher for this class, Intercultural Communication 311. To begin with, uh, please look at the syllabus in front of you. You should all have one by now, I think. Um, this class meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3.15 to 4.50. We will be meeting in this room for the first half of the course, but we will be using the research lab every other week on Thursday in room 405 during the last two months of the class. Uh, this is the text for the class, Beyond Language. Unfortunately, the books haven't come in yet, but I was told that you should be able to buy them at the bookstore the day after tomorrow. Again, as you see on your course outline, grading is determined by your work on a midterm and final test, periodic quizzes, a research project, and classroom participation. My office hours are from 1 to 2 on Wednesdays, and you can set up an appointment to meet with me at other times as well. Okay, let me explain a little bit more about the class and its objectives. Okay. The second time. Okay. Okay, let's begin. Hello, everyone. My name's Carl Roberts, and I'll be your teacher for this class, Intercultural Communication 311. 
To begin with, uh, please look at the syllabus in front of you. You should all have one by now, I think. Um, this class meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3.15 to 4.50. We will be meeting in this room for the first half of the course, but we will be using the research lab every other week on Thursday in room 405 during the last two months of the class. Uh, this is the text for the class, Beyond Language. Unfortunately, the books haven't come in yet, but I was told that you should be able to buy them at the bookstore the day after tomorrow. Again, as you see on your course outline, grading is determined by your work on a midterm and final test, periodic quizzes, a research project, and classroom participation. My office hours are from 1 to 2 on Wednesdays, and you can set up an appointment to meet with me at other times as well. Okay, let me explain a little bit more about the class and its objectives. Okay, the last time. Okay, okay, let's begin. Hello, everyone. My name's Carl Roberts, and I'll be your teacher for this class, Intercultural Communication 311. To begin with, uh, please look at the syllabus in front of you. You should all have one by now, I think. Um, this class meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3.15 to 4.50. We will be meeting in this room for the first half of the course, but we will be using the research lab every other week on Thursday in room 405 during the last two months of the class. Uh, this is the text for the class, Beyond Language. Unfortunately, the books haven't come in yet, but I was told that you should be able to buy them at the bookstore the day after tomorrow. Again, as you see on your course outline, grading is determined by your work on a midterm and final test, periodic quizzes, a research project, and classroom participation. My office hours are from 1 to 2 on Wednesdays, and you can set up an appointment to meet with me at other times as well. Okay, let me explain a little bit more about the class and its objectives. Okay. Let me check your scores. Okay. All right, so very good. Okay, teacher. Yes. When in the audio, when he said uh, that they all have to uh, have one uh, in front of them, I think before he said the hours. Mm -hmm. I I didn't understand. Uh, Dijo eh, que, que verificaran lo que tenían ellos, que creía que lo tenían, pero no sé qué era. No, no, no logré escuchar bien. Ok. Let me, let me share that. Let me share the, the, the um, yes, the, the website. Okay, so this one is the transcript, yeah? So, yes, let's the, see. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Um, so the teacher, right? Okay, okay, let's begin. Hello, everyone. My name is Carl Roberts, and I'll be your teacher for this class, Intercultural Communication 311. To begin with? Oh, please look at the syllabus. That, that, the syllabus. The syllabus, okay. Yes, actually, this is something that we all, um, well, I think that, well, I, I'm not sure, but the teachers, we all have syllabus, right? They help us to follow processes whenever we give classes, okay? Okay. It's very Thank important. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay. 
So now let's continue then. Okay, so let's continue and we are going to move to speaking. We're almost done with our class, guys. We are going to practice just for probably 10 minutes, but we are going to practice with this. So you need to support your opinion. If the government wants to invest in the following three areas, what do you think is the most worthwhile? What is the meaning of that word? What is worthwhile? What is it? Mm -hmm. Worthwhile? El que más vale la pena. Correct. So, uh, worthwhile, guys, is lo que más vale la pena. So, for you, what is the most worthwhile? Land exploration, education, or healthcare? Yeah. Some people like participating in performances like theatrical or musical shows. Others prefer to be in audience watching those plays. Which one do you prefer, guys? Do you prefer to participate or do you prefer just to watch? Okay. Among the following jobs, which do you think is the most interesting and why? Okay. So which do you think, yeah, there is missing thing, is the most interesting and why? Airplane pilot, actor, or a detective and why? And the last one, which of the following creative activities do you like to get involved in? Pottery making. What is the meaning of pottery making? Pottery? Mm -hmm. mm. Eh, creería yo, no sé cómo se llama, pero uh, los que hacen los, los como floreros de arcilla. Correct. Ok. Uh, alfarería. Alfarería. Ok. Que trabajan con cerámica, con arcilla. Correct. Ok. Pottery making, writing, or art creation. Yes. So we are going to practice with those four and then we are going to come back because we are almost done with our class, okay? Okay, if, it, okay. if the, the government want to in, invest in the following three areas, what do you think is the most worldwide? I prefer, I prefer uh, the government invest in the education mm -hmm. because it's necessary to improve the education in the country. Um, for me too, the the student are future uh, of the country. Yes. 
Okay. Basic is education. How do you say básica, teacher? Um, desde básica, uh, you can say elementary school. Ah, okay, elementary school. Mm -hmm. Elementary yeah. school. Yeah. To college. Yes. And... Next. Next. Kindergarten, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, that is true. I agree. Okay, next. Next. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I prefer uh, to be in audience. <laughs> Watching people play. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. Yes. If you participate. <laughs> because I am timid. Okay. In this uh, actors. Uh, performance. Uh, performances. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Performances. And you, Maurice? Uh, for me, audience too. Because <laughs> I. I know oh, I, I I I You don't like I to participate. Know, I do know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yes. God. I don't like to participate. You never participated when you were in, in school? In the, in the, in the, in the never very much people. You never participate? It's true, never. I never <laughs> I remember that me, yes. I solo participated a lot. Solo montando la escenografía. <laughs> okay, so now I understand why you prefer to be in the audience, right? Okay, yes. Well, it depends, right? It depends. But okay, all right. So, next. Hey. For me, the most interesting uh, job is the airplane pilot. Why? Because uh, it's necessary to learn uh, to pilot the airplane because the la vida de todas las personas que lleva a How do you say? Um, yeah, people people's life that is on board. People's life. People's yeah. life on board is very important. Yes. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Yes. Uh, for me, uh, uh, detect, detect, what do you say? Detect. Detective? Detective. Because uh, is, is any profession very interesting? Uh, uh, dangerous. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, detective is very, very interesting because you can actually find out different things, right? But it's also dangerous. It's dangerous to be a detective because imagine yeah. you can be killed. Yeah. So it is interesting, but it is dangerous. An airplane pilot, I think that is interesting, but it's also dangerous. Yeah. Because imagine yeah. if, if the airplane actually crashed, right? So if the airplane crashes, so you are going to be dead. Yeah. Right. Really fast, right? Mm, an actor, well, yeah, an actor, no, it's not that interesting, right? No. No, okay. So I agree, I agree, okay? Practice the last one, okay? Practice the last one. Okay. Yeah. Which of the following creative activities do you like to get involved in? Involved. Involved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For me, uh, art, Creation because I use my mind. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Are you sick? Yes, Pablo is enfermo, creo yo. 
Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, Paolo. Uh, Wendy, among the following jobs, which do you think is the most interesting? ¿Cuál es el más interesante para usted, Wendy? Airplane pilot, an actor, or a detective? Um, why I I play pilot? Repeat that to me. Airplane pilot. Airplane pilot. Airplane pilot. Airplane pilot. Okay. Why? Por qué? Why? What in everything mm -hmm. for me? Because it is interesting for me. Diga, because. Because. It is. It is. Interesting. Interesting. For me. For me. Pero por qué es interesante? Mm, for. I like this show. But why? Pero por qué le Why, doy? perdón. Why? Porque me gusta. <laughs> Pero por qué? Um, solo, eh, solo porque le gusta y pero yes. tiene, que, tiene que haber una razón porque usted dice a mí me parece muy interesante ser piloto de avión. Tiene que haber ah, una razón. Porque conoce diferentes países. Ajá, because you can visit different places. Dígalo. Because. Because. You can. You can visit visit different different places 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 uh -huh. places places ah uh, lugares países okay. se dice country countries countries Country. países countries uh -huh. okay okay next bajemos Okay. Bye. Which of the following creative activities do you like to get involved? ¿En cuál de las siguientes actividades quisiera eh, incluirse? Art creation. Eh, Art you like to get. Uh -huh. You like. Mm -hmm. To get in art creation. Why? Por qué? Why? Por qué for art creation? In... Uh -huh. For interesting. For me. It's like this. Yeah. Okay. Por qué le gusta? Porque me gusta porque el arte es, es muy bonito. Ok, repita después de mí. Art is beautiful. Art is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Ok. Mm, ok. Yes. It is true. Sí, es cierto. Ok. okay. Next. The last one. La última. Okay. Some people prefer to give their opinions immediately. Others prefer to wait and listen to others' opinions before giving their own. Which one do you think is better? Okay. ¿A usted le gusta dar su opinión de primero? ¿O le gusta esperar a que todos la den y después usted? I like... Bueno, primero espero que digan, que las personas hablen, y mejor espero a dar mi opinión. So, uh -huh. Ok, uh -huh. usted espera a que todos den su opinión para que usted dé la suya. Exacto. Sí. 
Ok, repite después de mí. I prefer. I prefer. To give. No. Ok, I prefer to wait. I prefer to wait. And listen to others' opinions. Listen to other opinions. Before giving my own. Before giving my own. Mm -hmm. Así. Ok, very good. Well, I know that Pablo is sick. Ok, por eso que no le pregunté a Pablo, porque yo sé que está enfermo. Ok. Está so, malito de la garganta. Sí. Ok. Bye. Ok, vámonos okay. de regreso al salón principal porque ya casi terminamos. Ok. Let's go. Yes. Okay, um, so Emerson, some people like participating in performances like theatrical or musical shows. Others prefer to be in an audience watching those plays. Which one do you prefer, Emerson, to participate or just watch? Well, in my case, I prefer participate in audience because I don't... I don't play the any instrument because okay. but I like I like her. Okay. You like to hear. Okay. All right. Okay. And you, Jose, participate or just watch in audience? Uh just watch in audience because Come. uh Yes, I, I can't act and I can't play any instrument. I I, I remember I tried in some time the, to learn something, but I don't remember what what was the instrument that I tried to play. Okay. <laughs> but I am I am I am shy, so I I will never be acting. <laughs> Or doing or something like that. <laughs> something like that, okay. You all have told me that you would like to be in the audience, guys. Okay. Now participate. Okay. So now, let me ask you. Among the following jobs, which do you think is the most interesting and why? Um, Nelly? I think the, the most interesting uh, is an uh, airplane pilot. Really? Because, yes, <laughs> because there are uh, no different, different countries and their travels almost always. Okay. Yeah, but... Um, my dream always uh always be uh detective detective oh my god nelly <laughs> all right okay <laughs> perfect okay a detective okay yeah. Well, guys, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. Thank you very much for connecting today. I'll see you back tomorrow, and I hope you have a good night. Okay, take care and rest. Okay, good night. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Good night. Hey, teacher. Bye -bye. Night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye, -bye. bye guys. Bye.